Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this tutorial we're going to provide an introduction to working with PHP 5.4 and Zen Studio. To follow the steps in this tutorial, you're going to need a Zen Studio 9 or above, and if you want to run the application on a remote Zen server, you're also going to need a Zen server with PHP 5.4 support and a Zen server API key. Our first step is to add PHP 5.4 to Zen Studio, and we're going to do this by accessing Zen Studio's welcome page and selecting the PHP 5.4 plugin. Zen Studio restarts with PHP 5.4 installed. Now let's create a new project to work with in this tutorial. I'm going to do this by right clicking in the PHP Explorer and selecting new local PHP project. PHP 5.4 is selected by default. In the launch settings dialog we're going to select launch CLI application and click finish to create the project. The new project is created and appears on the left in the PHP Explorer. I'm now going to introduce you to two new features of PHP 5.4. I'm going to open the index.php file and insert some pre-made code. Traits is a mechanism for reusing code and is intended to reduce some limitations of single inheritance by enabling you to reuse sets of methods freely in several independent classes living in different class hierarchies. A trait is similar to a class, but only intended to group functionality in a fine-grained and consistent way. You can't instantiate a trait on its own. It is in addition to traditional inheritance and enables horizontal composition of behavior. The second PHP 5.4 feature introduced here is a new shorter syntax for creating arrays. You can now use this syntax to define numerical and associative arrays. I'm now going to complete the code by inserting a class instantiation calling the trait method. Content Assist appears automatically and all I have to do is double click the trait that we defined in the first part of the code. Now let's test our application by running the index.php file locally. We're going to do this by right clicking anywhere in the file and selecting run as PHP CLI application. The final stage in this tutorial will be to deploy the application on Zen server. To do this, we first have to add application deployment support. Right click the project in the PHP Explorer and select Configure, Add Application Deployment Support. In the deployment XML that was created and open when we added application deployment support to the project, click Deploy a PHP application. We now have to define the target for deployment. I'm going to click Add New Target, select Zen Server, and then add the target details. Firstly, I'm going to add the local host address, then the API key name, and finally the key secret. I'll now test the connection, and click Finish to create the target. Our new target has been added. Let's click Finish to deploy the application. We're going to run this in the background, and in the meantime, open the browser and open Zen Server. In the meantime, Zen Studio has finished deploying the application. Let's verify that by going to the Applications tab and viewing the deployed application.